So let us consider this reaction. If a mixture of formaldehyde and benzaldehyde is treated with concentrated NaOH, what will be the product? This is a Kanin-Jaro reaction because this aldehyde has no alpha hydrogen and this also has no alpha hydrogen. So we will have Kanin-Jaro reaction. So you may remember in Kanin-Jaro reaction one molecule gets oxidized and one molecule gets reduced. So we will have oxidation reduction. Generally in this reaction formaldehyde gets oxidized. So we will have salt of formic acid. So this is oxidation. and benzaldehyde gets reduced. So this is reduction. In this reaction formaldehyde always gets oxidized. And question is asked why the formaldehyde always gets oxidized, why not benzaldehyde? And this can be answered if I remember the mechanism. Now let us consider mechanism of this reaction. First step of mechanism is nucleophilic attack by OH minus. So now we have two possibility. Nucleophile can attack on benzaldehyde or it can also attack on formaldehyde. So let us consider these two possibility. It can also attack on benzaldehyde. Now the question is which attack is more favorable? This attack that is attack on benzaldehyde is more favorable because in this case carbon has more positive charge. In this case this carbon has less positive charge because some electron cloud is coming from the benzene ring. So this carbon has less positive charge. So why attack occurs on formaldehyde? This is because carbonylic carbon in formaldehyde has more positive charge. So first reason is carbonylic carbon in formaldehyde has more positive charge. And the second reason is these two groups are a small group but pH group is a large group. So it will have some steric hindrance but in case of formaldehyde we will have very less steric hindrance. So we can say 
in case of formaldehyde a steric hindrance is very less and that's why the second step does not occur so we will always have attack on formaldehyde so this is first step now the next step is hydride transfer that is hydride transfer so so we have benzyl dehyde and we have this intermediate so we will have hydride transfer next step is simply acid base reaction so we will have corresponding salt of acid and alcohol so this reaction is also called cross kanjaro so when i have two different aldehyde we can have aldehyde of type 1 and we can have aldehyde of type 2 and this can treated with concentrated naoh this reaction is called cross kanjaro reaction so we will have two different kind of aldehyde if we have two same type of aldehyde this is called self kanjaro in case of self kanjaro reaction only two products are possible for example we have to same aldehyde so we can oxidize this molecule and we can reduce this molecule or so first is this is oxidized and this is reduced or we can oxidize this one and this one gets reduced in both cases we will have same product because molecule is same and one is salt of acid and another is alcohol but if i have to different aldehyde for example both having no alpha hydrogen this is treated with concentrated naoh 
Now this time four products are possible. For example, this can be oxidized, this can be reduced or this can be oxidized and this can be reduced. So if this gets oxidized and reduced, we will have this product. And if this gets oxidized and reduced, we will have these two products. So basically in this case, we will have a mixture of products. Cross Kalinjaro reaction is useful only if I take one of the reactant is formaldehyde because in that case formaldehyde always gets oxidized because nucleophilic attack occurs at carbonylic carbon of formaldehyde. So we can say Cross Kalinjaro reaction. is useful only when formaldehyde HCHO is one of the reactant so this is about cross canin reaction